Oh, hey guys. All right, so guys, I want you to keep some things in mind during this video, okay? The purpose of this video is not to threaten nor to intimidate, but it is to raise a question. And this is a question I feel needs to be raised, and it's a question that has been raised multiple times over the last, I'd say, three to five years. Okay, okay. Now, the question, now here's the question. The question is, is charging $70 for a game, that'd be seven zero dollars Is charging that much money for a game a good idea or a bad idea? And in my opinion, bad idea. Now, here's the solution that I'm almost certain, you know, game designers, I mean, game companies didn't think of at the time. Okay, like, for example, what if people aren't buying games, you know, nearly enough? Okay, what if people are not, are, what if people can't afford, Afford seventy dollars for a game. Does that make sense to you guys? Of course it does. It makes perfect sense. Now, let me ask this. Let me ask you guys this, okay? Now, how much do you guys think game companies should charge? No, no, no. Wait, wait. Let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase it. How much do you think companies like Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft should charge for games nowadays? And the question is, depending on your answer, do you guys think your answer would, would help? Or do you think it would hurt the market? Hmm? Now, if your answer was like, about thirty to forty dollars. I'd say help. That would that might help. And see, the problem kind of started in two thousand twenty, when scalpers were you know getting their hands on the game system that this controller's for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway, if your answer is like fifty or sixty dollars. You might be uh, bending the needle a little bit here. Now, thirty or thirty-five dollars, then there might be a little bit more reasonable. Now, now. I'm going to show you guys a game that, in my opinion, should have been recalled and should, frankly, have, you know, had it completely gutted and redone. And this is why I bring up this, this is why I'm making this video. To basically prove, once and for all, that charging $70 for games is just way, way too much. This piece of junk. This hunk of junk right here is not worth anything. It's broken. This game sucks. Now, you might be thinking, well, if it's broken, then why, then why do you have it? Well, see, the reason why I have it Anyway, the uh, reason I bought WWE 2K20 is because I heard it was like, you know, it was bug, it was like buggy and glitchy and, and crash prone. And I thought everybody was just making that crap up. Little did I know, and I do now, they weren't making it up, people. Nope. 
They weren't making it up. So, do I think charging $70 for a game is ridiculous? Yes. Yes, I do. Now, what should that 7 be changed to? I've got a, cr I've got a few ideas. How about you change that 7 to a 3 or a 4? And then we'll talk. Because maybe then, you know, maybe then, you know, people might actually be able to afford your games. And this and this video, and this goes out to all game companies out there. Charging $70 for a game is just way too much. Now, if you want to charge like 30 or 40 then we can talk. Then maybe we can talk business. Then maybe we can do business. Because charging, because charging people $70 is just way too much. So, yeah, what, what do you guys think? You guys think that charging $70 for a game is ridiculous like I do? Or do you guys think that maybe what these companies need to do is they need to start realizing that, you know, maybe not a lot of people have, have a whole lot of this, you know, a whole lot of money. That's the problem right there. They're not thinking logically here. And of course, some companies think that charging $70 is a good idea. I don't. And Sony wonders why people are probably still playing their PS4 games on their PS5s if they have one. I don't think there's any debate anymore why. So, do I think that, do I think that that $70 needs to be lowered, that $70 price tag needs to be lowered? Yes, I do. I think it needs to be lowered by, I think it needs to be lowered to at least $30 or $40. So, what do you guys think? You guys think that maybe charging like thirty or forty dollars would be a little bit more reasonable in this case, or do you guys think that maybe these companies are just overreacting and they're just not listening to their customers at all? Why don't you guys go ahead and give me your give me your thoughts on what you guys think? And yeah, I guess that's about it, you guys. So what? So I, I do want to hear from you guys. I really do. And and let me add this before I forget. If there are any any females out there who do watch my videos, please let me know what you want. Please let me know what kind of video you want me to do, and I'll see if I can do it. Okay. All right. So guys. You know what to do. You know how to do it. And guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. And I hope you guys, you know, at least had a little, you know, had a little information, you know, purged into your brain. That might get you to start thinking. Because Sony, because Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo... You gotta stop this seventy dollar price tag. You gotta, you gotta stop it. It's ridiculous. You have got to start doing. You have got to start lowering the prices of how much you're charging. Because frankly, you wonder why you're not selling as many games as you as you thought you were gonna. You wonder why. I know why. Well, the reason why you guys aren't selling as many games as you as you could, as you guys thought you were gonna sell, not enough of this. People might not have enough of this to be able to afford seventy dollars 
Whereas, you know, maybe if you were charging like $30 or $40, maybe then people could afford it. And that's, guys, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found it somewhat informative. Hey, guys, you guys know what to do. And if you guys could like this video, I'd really appreciate it. You know, leave me your thoughts, of course. And subscribe if you haven't already done so. And share this video around, you know, for, for those who don't already know about this situation. And click that bell to be notified for future videos. Because honest to God, guys, YouTube may not always let you know that I've uploaded a video, okay? They may not let you know, okay? That's why you guys have to click that bell so you will always know when I upload the video. Because they don't always let you know. Alright? And guys, till next time. Later, fam squad.